This seed should be a lot better, I think. It's more in line with the the settings I ran the other day. Because it's big keezy. But also, uh, the goal is mirror shards and not use shadows. So there are four items to collect. So it's one, or one, two, three, four mirror shards. Instead of three fused shadows. Which I'm sure will add a little bit of time. But, like, whatever. I want to see how that plays out with four dungeons in the pool. Forest Temple, Lake Bed, AG, City in the Sky. Upper Zora's River. Zora Domain Path to Stallard. Nothing to be found in Purple Mist. Okay. Uh, let me grab Link's chest. <sighs> it's like I I liked I like Big Key Sanity and how it plays out with hints. And I do generally like Big Keysy. I think Big Keys in their own dungeons is a big mistake. <laughs> but maybe it's just gut reaction. Mostly just because some of those chests are really awful. And it makes it a lot harder to... It's like, honestly, if anything, I think it hurts, like, lower skill level players more. And tends to lead to less interesting routing than even Keezy does. Still willing to give it a shot, but I'm probably not going to run seeds like that on my own. So bad. And it's it's one thing to have like Hello. I don't know why she didn't talk to me. I guess I was like just outside her range. It's one thing for me to be like trying to roll settings that like create toxic garbage. Versus trying to roll settings that are, like, proposed race settings. Like, oh yeah, these are settings that... For races. Like, okay. And then it's, like, just pure trash. It's like, uh... Maybe I just don't care. Um, I'm gonna do Farron, because I never have to come back for the mist anyway. I do have to come back for Forest Temple, though, so... Eh. Maybe a bad call to come here early. Oh, well, I'm already here. I, pr I typically will probably not want to come here if I have Forest Temple. Because I'll eventually be here regardless. Probably sooner rather than later, even. I also do want to get my pay league races scheduled. Ideally this week. 
if not next week or this weekend or something. I want to get those out of the way. Um, I don't have a weapon to kill the Bokoblin with or to break the monkey cage. But I do like an early boomerang. Uh, Lantern is in Forest Temple. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go to SG. <clears throat> um, probably here in the Zora's Domain. Zora's Domain gives me hints. Gives me Snow Peak. Snow Peak sign also. I don't care about Harpies. Fly. <laughs> One sword on Lanero. sign real quick before I warp because I think that was Lake Hylia underwater chest or something I just saw underwater chest yeah okay <clears throat> also lantern was required I'm gonna make a note of that too dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do ZD all at once also. Axel. Yeah, I haven't been able to do anything in AP for a while because I. Oh, I'll just do this. Obviously, I need the items. Obviously, I just need, like, sub-PET. And, like, nothing else will do anything for me. In PET case.
Um, I'll just go to, like, Hylia. It's kind of weird that I just don't have a lot of stuff here. Boom- Ah, uh, I have Boomerang. I've never done this before. <laughs> don't remember where it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and Iron Boots. Iron Boots, Magic Armor. Did you know? Who's that? <laughs> Stops moving. Yeah, this seed is set to mere shards. So it should be four dungeons. And, I mean, there were four dungeons on the sign. I also didn't read this fucking sign. Ba, ba, ba. Typical. I don't know if Snow Peak Nothing Beyond means that, uh, no, it can't be barren. Because I got Iron Boots there. Do a chicken. <laughs> I kind of want to see how four dungeons plays out versus three. <clears throat> but also, it's keysy again for big keys. God's intended way of... <laughs> ...dealing with dungeons. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, graveyard... more feel. I went the wrong way. I might drown. Probably not. Feely. Thank you for the raid. Feely, I posted the seed that I just gave up on in my Discord. It was it was awful. It was actually one of it was probably like the worst seed I think I have ever seen. 
for what could be considered race settings. Hope your stream was good. Are you doing MM, Skyward Sword? Something like that. Maybe HD Rando. MM Bingo, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, the seed that I gave up on was 12 spheres deep, and two of the boss keys were two of the worst possible boss key positions imaginable within their own dungeons. <laughs> With a required double dip into city. So... There's your- there's the warning. <laughs> I have a sword in Linnaeus and I didn't find anything there. Thank you for the good RNG. Frasco? Or... I'll just go with Frasco. <laughs> I still have two Baron Hints. Side Castle Town will be a pretty boring one. Oh my god, Link. Link, read the sign. Uh, IB Memo. Okay. Uh, I have a pretty good idea of where that could be then. Well, it could be like that actually. Less of a good idea. Oh. Whatever. But this is... So mirror shards being uh, four of is new to the rando. You, it used to be that mirror shards and few shadows are the same number of uh, items, but now there are four mirror shards. So. This is a four dungeon seed instead of a three dungeon seed. Uh, Farron Field, Path to Argorok. Star 2 is dead. Cool. Give me a loading zone here. Oh. Oh. Hey, talking to this lady. Agatha is dead. Love to see it. seen a Goron spring water hint, so I'll grab some money. One sword in Lanayru. Not a whole lot of places left to check in Lanayru. I have a lot of Baron hints, though, already. Dead areas. I know I don't need to do Snow Peak at all. Nothing beyond that point on the mountain. Nothing in purple mist, but lantern is required. Which narrows that down quite a bit. Nothing on Agatha, so bugs are dead. Upper Zora's River is dead. Bottle of milk. 
Uh, Farron Field Path to Argorok. I have Boomerang, so I can do all but one check there already. But I think I'm more I'm more inclined to go to like Lanera Field at the moment. Cause there could be a sword there. Could be a sword there. Could be on Bridge of Elden that or Bridge of or Bridge of Hylia. I still have two region baron hints to find. Those are interesting. Graveyard is past a Morpheal. Be Claw Shot. Or Zora Armor. It could be Vanilla Zora Armor, actually. Now, I feel like that's most likely what it is, is Zora Armor. In the graveyard. Should go there soon. Iron Boots Path to Aru's Memo. And I have Boomerang. That's a Ooh, that could be the check in the uh, ZD. Just put out the lanterns. Just want to read the sign here. Kind of out of the way for this, but whatever. GBH is dead. This is actually like really hype. <laughs> Heck, Rico Gorge double claw shot is endless. Can't see what that is. Blue rupee. Grab the iron boots chest. The sooner I can get to the desert, the better. Although, I don't have Claw Shot yet, that's a big deal. for Gorge. Um, I'm just gonna go to CAC. Yeah, just go to CAC Rico. Sword in Lanaru, but it's not Upper Zora's River or Great Bridge of Hylia. Means it's probably like Lint or a uh, Hype Cave. Probably. <laughs> Um, I still don't have a weapon to break monkey cage with. Or kill the goblins or <laughs> anything like that. I know this isn't dead, so I just talk to Rotella or whatever. the item. Okay, so it's not Rotella. There's only three other checks in this area. Sword in the Nehru. Sword in Elden Field. Okay. Oops. I will be there soon. Okay, 
So it's either on Ashe's sketch or Lantern. It's probably on Lantern. Because my Lantern was hinted required. And that's in Forest Temple. <clears throat> I'll have a sword soon. I still have one more Baron region. It's probably a dungeon. One of the dungeons. More likely than not, I think. Oh my god. Read the sign. Feel Sword and Elden. Okay. It's not Kakariko. still have bombs. Or a way to break those at all. Bugs are useless. And I'm holding off on pose until I can hopefully go to AG. <laughs> I wish I could buy water bombs now, but I can't. Because I will need them. Boots are path to memo. Okay. Uh, it is probably the putting out the light, the light check, which I'll do after I do Elden Field. Boomerang Iron Boots gets me exactly one combination check in Zora's domain, and that probably overlaps both those path hints. For either memo or something that takes me to memo. Two checks in Elden Field, so this feels very reasonable. Burning goats is a dominion rod, huh? Okay. I'll need to go back and do that. Ideally, I can get lantern first. Hmm. 
goats. Dom. There's <laughs> my sword. I can do stock cave. Can't do the lantern part of it. Hmm. What the link? Should I hold off on Stock Cave until I actually have a lantern though? Because I know it's really early and I can probably get it now. I want to open up the portal though. I think I am going to hold off on it. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on actually doing Stock Cave until I have lantern. Just because I know lantern is early. With a wooden sword and gale boomerang, I can actually beat Forest Temple. So I should just go do that. Like, yeah, it's an annoying way of doing it, but... wouldn't mind having more stuff like bombs. But I can just walk in here and do all of this. I know the lanterns in here is also a pretty big reason for me to do this.
One small key. So far, I just kind of have to do the dungeon normally. For people that never played Pokemon, we have Lusamine and Cyrus. One is a 27 year old that kind of hates their life. The other is a 40-year-old parent whose children ran away with their life's work. Anyone care to guess who is who? <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Axel. Take the Ordon sword here. That's not bad at all to get. God damn it. Oops. that web. I can just kill Diababa, do the one check up here and kill Diababa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill the boss. Lantern is here and it is required. It also technically, I guess, could be on Diababa. Which would be weird, but... Okay. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it got sniped by the other plants. plant in the face. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Stop locking on to Ook. Lock on to the boss. <clears throat> Actually, worst boss. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It's the Mirror of Twilight. Is it, Midna? to go back into Forest Temple to do West Side. However, 
Uh, I think it's still technically faster to do this warp. No, no, I, mm, I should do four simple stuff before this. Yeah, no, I definitely should. It's just the four simple stuff is annoying. When you don't actually have a way to directly get rid of the webs. And you have to use the bomblings. That's why I opted to go just fight the boss. But I want lantern before I go do goats. So that I can do lantern check at the ranch <laughs> in Link's house. Okay, so can I manage to do this? Bumblings at Lakebed Temple, whatever. Mm, maybe from here? Okay. do this without a, without a shield? Maybe claw shot? Okay, yeah, claw shot works. I was so far left. How did that grab me? I'm gonna try it again. Ah, oh, nice. I did not mean to...
All right, Big Baba. Is Big Baba a lantern? two chests left in this dungeon. Two. <clears throat> now that I have a key, I can go to this one, though. I could have went to fight Ook. I guess I can do that after this. checks just because I think one of them is a small key one of the last two checks is a small key the other one could be something good but what are the odds Two lantern checks. I'm gonna do bow also. I had the goat's hint. Which means I'm not gonna get a bow hint. Although... The odds that both are needed... Pretty low. But also I would like never come back for bow. It's crazy. 
crazy to me that this is a lantern required chest. Like, you just can't open it without a light. <laughs> Like, it's clearly right there. <laughs> Alright, this is a... Should I fight Bo? Should I not fight Bo? And I think I will, just because then I can completely clear out Ordon. And not even have to worry about it. wasn't mashing fast enough. After the slap? Weird. over here. Yo, Ice. <clears throat> Can you believe that this is required of me? this check. Okay, these goats suck. Goat, go inside the barn. some really bad Dominion Rod seeds. Like, multiple times in a row. Hello. Two barren hens. <clears throat> oh, 
I'm gonna check the sign here. Well, I'm already here, so... <clears throat> no, that was the last one. My only barren hints are Upper Zord River and Great Bridge of Hylia. And Purple Mist. But Purple Mist is not a region. North Elden, okay. <laughs> Star 2 is dead. I don't know how to do this wolf jump. I know you have to be like pretty close to the edge. I'm just gonna go to Farron Field. Because <clears throat> I can actually do everything here now. Farron Field path to Argorok. This could be my second claw shot. Wouldn't be too unreasonable. Really? I think that that's a bow? Bird? <laughs> have a map, basically. We're on spring water, ice cave. Map is like the best advice. It's not... I mean, I guess for glitchless logic, it's technically fine. Maybe some, like, technical errors in dungeons, but... Or technical mismatches with the actual logic, but whatever. I haven't got around to updating it all yet. I might work on it a little bit on, like, Thursday and Friday. I think it's just some of the key logic in dungeons isn't technically correct anymore. Like the map expects you to have more keys. Because that's how the logic in Rando used to be. And it hasn't been updated yet. Overworld stuff would be correct. Or should still be correct. Mm 
Yeah, I have that on my on the tracker. The Master Sword check and also Stallard Dungeon Reward. Oops. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Oh, I was gonna do this. <laughs> New Malomart checks? Are the other two items technically checks now? With Shop Sanity? Because it was just Hylian Shield and Hawkeye before. I just haven't played with Shop Sanity to, like, know. That's dead. Oh, I didn't save the cat. Also surprised that that wasn't anything. Um, what other... Okay, North Elton's dead. Which is interesting. Uh, I'll go get the Iron Goods check here. <clears throat> I would assume if those are randomized, then the Goron shop also has checks. If you enable shops. Uh. Okay. And maybe even like Castletown Malamart. The other checks could have items, or like City in the Sky Shop, or. <laughs> Be weird if it's just, uh. Malamart. still gonna buy water bombs right now? Yes. Oh. Actually. I was definitely curious why the Farron Golden Wolf was excluded, because it literally is just sitting there. But slightly reducing Sphere Zero. And also just like blanket statement, uh, if it's a Golden Wolf check it's dead. Makes sense. <clears throat> so I'll probably change how the map is done to just exclude that also for the Golden Wolf's list. <laughs> give me water bombs. My water bombs, I mean, give me this so that I can sell you bombs so I can buy bombs. <laughs>
Let's try and do this. I did the claw shot yesterday. Just a matter of like don't know exactly where I need to be. Okay. Pretty much. Also, I know Ash's sketch matters now because Graveyard is a path hint, and there's been nothing there otherwise. Which is worth noting. God damn it. Immediately get shit on. <clears throat> I want rare chew jelly. Dead. I'll... <clears throat> I'll grab this really quick. Just because I know how now. Hopefully, I press the right button. LJAs are really, they're not bad, but it's confusing if you don't know how they work. And the main point, the like main thing to remember about a, the LJA with the boomerang is that the boomerang needs to be on ground that is higher than Link or over a void. So that's like the the main thing.
Speaking of Sacred Grove, I'll do the single Dominion Rod check. <clears throat> and probably the Baba Grotto in the Lantern Chest. Yeah. Bop, Serpent Grotto, Lantern Chest, single Dominion Rod check. <clears throat> Everything but the spinner chest. Necessary, but all right, quiver. I'll take it. <clears throat> I'll do hype cave after this. It's actually in logic for once. I don't have a hint for anything in hype cave either. I just don't didn't want to have to use my water bombs after I just bought them. But I can keep those mostly intact. Lantern required probably actually hints to hype cave. more than anything else. I just didn't think about it when I got bombs and bow. I also don't want to use my bombs here, so I'm just going to use my sword. That was required. At least something here was required. Makes me feel better about doing it instead of hype cave immediately. I also don't have... Hmm, okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> Lock out from all devices. Rip. <clears throat> Hopefully he's getting fairly well compensated for all of the travel he's being forced to do. <laughs> for work. I assume he is. Because he barely spends time at home. From what it seems like. He's typically, you know, multiple cities away from where he actually lives. For a remote job. For what was originally a remote job. job. I'll take the restock on water bombs as I'm going through here. That's not terrible. Honestly, I'm just gonna get these. I don't have memo yet. Which means I'm missing pose from AG. Alright, blew this up. Hour and a half. Piss sword. Oops. Turning off electric and water. Oh my god. been like anything here yet nothing beyond this point okay I came in here just for a piss sword <laughs> apparently I guess finish up my lantern checks. Oh, there's also Lake Hylia or Lanier Lanier Spring. There's a few more checks I can do there. is now googling if Geico exists in Brazil.
Spring, I guess. When they were spring and then dip city in the sky. Single claw shot, iron boots, city in the sky. Kind of cringe, not gonna lie. <clears throat> if that's the case. I did iron boots, or did, uh, yeah, I did iron boots checks. I didn't do claw shot at all, though. So three chests, and then I guess I go to city. Oh, well, there's Ashe's sketch, okay. I know that this is important. <clears throat> I know that Graveyard is path to Morpheal, so Ashe's sketch must be Zora armor. And I would rather enter Lake Bed right now if I can clear it. <laughs> Question mark. I guess. Um, I can grab these two Poes while I'm here. Just in case I don't get memo for a while and I'm like needing to do Giovanni. This is Zora armor, which I think it would be, probably. Yeah. Order is a little like swapped here. <laughs> I can just clear lake bed. I have everything I would need. Um, I don't have any path hints for lake bed per se. I have a path in for Stallard. At ZD. That would have to be the underwater Goron at this point.
So I need to make sure I keep some bombs. Unless I were to do that like right now, but I'm already in the water. At this point, I'm just missing spinner and double claw shot. Is spinner and double claw shot go mode? And I guess memo too. And if the underwater Goron has something that I need. Like I'm thinking. Really? That didn't work. Surprised by that one. Four dungeon seed, this isn't really playing that differently. But it's probably just gonna be like, you know, take the extra time in another dungeon to when you're already basically in go mode. And for how many items are needed, that's probably normal. Probably what to expect on average even. TP Rando was in a <clears throat> sort of like beta, no logic state for a long time. But I don't know the exact timelines. Like, it took a long time to get logic, I know that much. And for a while, the logic was, like, really weird. Compared to, like, most randos. <clears throat> oh, I need to, to check below. Whatever, I'll do it later. 
For some reason, I thought it was the upper door has the sign. Based on what I heard from a lot of people, <clears throat> the early TP rando kind of gave off a bad initial impression due to how the logic was written. And a lot of the more casual audience doesn't necessarily know that it's been changed since then. But that's just the impression that I've had. Because I think I remember seeing Feely do a TP rando like a couple years ago ish. some point. <clears throat> uh, that's still the case. If you set Temple of Time to closed, uh, you need the Master Sword to open the door or to make the door spawn. But we don't play with Temple of Time closed, we play with it open. I could see some benefit to playing with Temple of Time closed if you want a log like an earlier logical reason to have a Master Sword. But also it probably more often than not is like having four magical seeds for flower fields where there's just never anything in Temple of Time. Is probably more likely how it works out. That's my guess, at least. I know that's also like, obviously I'm not like talking shit on Linkus <laughs> with this statement, but he does, he does a lot of randos very early on when they first get released. And sometimes he says things that aren't necessarily the case <laughs> for, you know, a couple years later or a year later, but people still remember like what he said originally. And I think that is sometimes still how things work. Talking mostly with Minish Cap in mind. <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> 
When Myth made a comment at SGDQ last year, during his Minish Cap 80% run, that was something along the lines of, unlike popular opinion, Minish Cap is indeed not a glitchless speedrun. He was definitely talking about Linkus. And like things that he had said in videos where he was playing Minish Cap. <clears throat> Says some things sometimes. Yep. It's like, I don't even think Linkus is a bad person. I just think that his audience takes things too, liter too literally and is probably on the younger side anyway, so. Obviously. Like, I have no problems with Linkus. Be clear. <laughs> He's just not always correct, and that's fine. Linkus does do some good videos for certain things that he's like really knowledgeable about. But a lot of that comes down to mostly Wind Waker. Which obviously he actually held records in Wind Waker. <clears throat> I wonder what that rec could be referencing. I guess I'll just never know. platform now. <clears throat> Actually, can I make this jump? Mm, I don't think there's anything I could LJA to. Maybe his wolf? Ah, damn. <clears throat> Like, I know there's a lot of people, in, especially with TP, that don't necessarily like Alberto. Which I also understand why. But... He's li he literally just has a lot of confidence <laughs> in himself. And for pretty good reason. TPHD. Makes sense. TPHD is, or was pretty popular at least for a little bit. I don't know if it still is. I think SD is significantly more popular at this point. Also Wii U games. Um, 
I want to go down there. <clears throat> I've actually, like, met Alberto and talked to Alberto before. And, like, been on commentary for runs with Alberto. I need to check. The sign's like right over here. A lot of the things that people don't like him for was that he was very caught. Like, he didn't really like TP any percent, which is understandable. TP any percent kind of sucks. <laughs> but he still grinded for record because he knew that he was capable of doing it. And I think that kind of like mixture people didn't like. Yeah, he did no reset. I think, like, like no resets is, like, a very good way of doing speedruns. Or, like, getting good, rather. If you can mentally, like, keep up with it. If you, if you are mentally able to push through bad runs, like, there's no reason not to just play them out for practice it's like I I do respect Alberto's like grind mindset I don't think I could do it myself because I think I would get to points where in the runs where I'm like this is shit I don't want to finish it so the fact that he's able to do that is very respectable And he got he got TP any percent record before um Empty Lake Highly was found. And he did it like within a year of learning the game. Just by grinding and doing no resets. It's like even if he didn't necessarily like parts of the run, which is understandable like any percent this game has some bullshit time save that at the top level if you don't get you're losing you know like 10 seconds 30 seconds at a time <laughs> it's like it's understandable to like not like the entire run but he had a goal and he wanted to prove that he could do it And then he sold his TP <laughs> or his TP disc. Imagine having a cartridge of this game. Oh, I didn't re-equip iron boots. I'm stupid. I thought when I did the re-grab, I it actually. Equip them. Morpheo, let me kill you. <clears throat> TPHD on Switch or like Switch 2 or whatever. I'd be very surprised if Wind Waker and TPHD didn't get ported to at least the next platform. Having them be on Wii U only kind of sucks. No, this was just Graveyard Path to Morpheal, and that was literally just Zora armor. <clears throat> Void's copium emote. <laughs> God. 
<clears throat> Honestly, I'm okay with not getting OOT and MM <laughs> remakes. Personally. Seeing the OOT and MM 3D. <laughs> and they were made by Grezzo. And you know the quality of video game remakes that Grezzo produces. Nothing but peak. <laughs> Never broken. <laughs> Flawless. Nice. Water bomb. <clears throat> Can't believe he won't talk to you while you're swimming. What a rude Goron. Okay, Link Between Worlds I agree with. Definitely should get a remake. Or a port or something. <clears throat> I mean, if... If Grezzo did the Oracle games... <laughs> in the same engine... Double Claw Shot, so ZD was Path to Stallard, and I got Double Claw Shot. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish Argorok here. As long as they fix Hinox more. <laughs> um, excuse me, game. You're supposed to shuffle these. I guess technically that's normally over here. notice being broken casually. Yeah, you wouldn't really notice it casually. If you go back far enough, Feely, until like my Twitter feed, you'll see me posting the clip of the trick that made me not want to run the game anymore. I never even learned any percent. It was just glitchless. done all of that and I think this was I'm gonna reread this I think this was nothing oh no something could be on this point oh, I haven't even been here okay Isn't, like, Hinox Warp most, like, a part of it RNG-related? At least one of them involves RNG. I forget which one. D2. Uh, the glitchless trick that I didn't like, Feely, was D4 double key skip. 
which uh, it, it's definitely not out of bounds. Nope, nope, not out of bounds. The, the wall is clearly in bounds that you put the bomb on. Yeah, the bomb is out of bounds, but not Link. That That's the part that matters, clearly. Not that you're... interacting with objects out of bounds at all, like, no. <laughs> I didn't mind it if it wasn't angle precise, I wouldn't have minded it as much. And it's a two it's a frame two input. Which makes it even worse. Five stuff I thought was fine. The angle skews. I don't mind those. I thought that was reasonable. Surely this is good enough. Yep. <clears throat> So the way that uh, D4 key skip works, Feely, you throw a bomb out of bounds with an angle perfect setup. And then you do a jump into the bomb while it's exploding to get boosted to a different part of the dungeon. Skips two keys. But yeah, that is glitchless. Angle skewing is not that big of a deal, personally, to me. Because all you're doing is, like, rotating Link while you're jumping with Rock's Feather. And then just using Hookshot. Like, whatever. That's not a glitch. Yeah, angle skewing is just, like, an abuse of mechanics, if anything. <clears throat> the D4 key skip was the, this is, a, quote, not a glitch, definitely not a glitch, nope, kind of thing. I mean, I believe it. Uh, I actually don't know how to jump out here to void. But I'm already on this P hat. <clears throat> I'm sure it was a very heated discussion that definitely had a... <laughs> Definitely was not influenced at all by any specific people. I mean, Wind Waker has glitchless Helmarok King skip. <laughs> Which, fair, it's a shitty boss fight. But I also am of the opinion that boss fights shouldn't be. boss fight skips should not be glitchless, personally. Generally speaking. <clears throat> if it was banned, they it's glitchless. <laughs> you have other categories that you'd be allowed to do it in. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Thank you. 
That's honestly just silly at that point. Literally only using Glitchless. I thought, uh, wouldn't... Couldn't AD use it? Or the... Ooh, I need to... Yeah. Not AD. The, there's like the minor glitches category or something. Bomb floating. Uh, I guess that's true. Oh, I didn't grab this chest. Oops. Because I saw they added a new category, like, kind of recently. Okay. You need to die, Serpent. Oh my god. AD restricted. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. <clears throat> yeah, with two runners. Exa exactly. <laughs> it's a real category. <laughs> does that do bomb floating or does, would that do D-Force key skip? I literally haven't seen a run because, you know, no one does it. I don't know what the restricted part is of that part. I assume the restricted part is like... Hinox Warps, uh... Rooster Adventure, maybe? Can't walk on dungeon walls. Okay. So yeah, you would do double key... or er, yeah, D4 key skip. There you go, you have a glitch category that does, uh, the glitch. <laughs> In like two years. I actually did like the glitchless run, other than D4. Like, it was actually fun other than that part. <clears throat> but that skip saved two minutes, so... It was, like, basically required. Mm -hmm. It was required and you would lose your run there if you mistimed, like, one thing. Oh boy. Nice jump. Could have done any percent no Hinox warp.
I don't know when they added that category. I assume when people were getting really tired of Hinox warps. <laughs> against adding that. Fair. It's like playing no peach warp in Paper Mario. I don't have spinner. I can't go this way. Literally created by boomers because they didn't want to do peach warps. They said it made Bowser really shitty, which it does, but you're losing your run to Huff in No Peach Warp <laughs> because Huff is really shitty. <laughs> Dead and no one runs it, yeah. <clears throat> the thing about uh, no peach warp that bothered me, I mean, no one cares because no one runs the category, is that the category was allowed to do seed dupe when that was discovered. So you're letting the boomer category that banned peach warp because no one wanted to do the new trick. You're allowing it to do seed doom. <laughs> Which seems really silly. And I think a lot of people agree that it was really dumb to allow that. <clears throat> uh, I don't think so. I think you had already stopped running LAS by the time I, like, was following your streams and talking in chat or anything. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kill Argarok. I don't have Spinner, but I feel like I'm gonna get Spinner at some point here. That is a trap. <laughs> I mean, if you can't hear audio, isn't that like immediate <laughs> disqualify run, decline run? Audio is like a pretty big deal. I was really late on that. <clears throat> the classic combo. I needed to aim further left. ESS in this game. ESS in the 3D Zelda games. Trying to aim just like a little bit. Like I need to aim further left. 
It's not easy. Um, if Double Claw Shot was on my path to Spinner, or my... Yeah, my path to Stallard. I would not be surprised. Well, there's other Double Claw Shot checks, I guess. Technically. Doesn't have to be here. Ah, shit. Uh, Spinner and Aru's memo. Technically. Because I can't even go to the desert yet. I was actually aiming right at it. <clears throat> but my thing will basically just be at this point to check double claw shot stuff. Uh, which is Kakariko Gorge, Lanayru Spring. If Argarok has Spinner, I still need to do the east side of City in the Sky. Because that's Spinner locked. And the hint said something good is beyond there. Which technically can literally just mean like a bomb bag. Or ball and chain. It doesn't have to be something I actually need, it's just something good over there. Actually, like understand what, what to do there. In an ideal world, I find Memo before Spinner. I need to watch some cutscenes. This is the perfect time to refill. Because this cutscene is like 50 seconds. Racing the clock. I should have started this a while ago. <laughs> I can't do it in time. I got the scoop in the cup.
golden lid. Uh, start shaking a little bit. Shake it more when I get up there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Argorok, you stupid dinosaur. I mean, I had to just wait at that point. Are you serious? He turned? Okay. I didn't know you could turn while I was on there. Because he started aiming at the other pillar. Dude! Are you serious? Right now. Argorok. Why are you breathing fire so quickly? Claw shot, please, Link. Okay. Well, I have plenty of time to shake. Now. Auto scroller. Sour watermelon, by the way. shot stuff. Look, arrows. <clears throat> Lanayru Spring has two chests. Kakariko Gorge is one. I already got the one in South Castle Town. Great Bridge of Hylia is dead, so there's nothing up there. <clears throat> Worst case scenario... is that I get Memo 
Or I get to a spinner and I have to go back there or something. Looking for memo. But also, like, mm. memo into spinner isn't too bad, actually. Because I have all of the desert at that point. And at least it's in the way. Versus going to city to do uh, east checks. <clears throat> do do do. Fuck. <laughs> Kind of go mode, I still have to do Arbiter Grounds. Like the entire dungeon. Almost. Is this even faster than Wolf? I don't think it is. Yeah, I actually don't think it is. Because I can take a more direct line with Wolf. Although I need a board to break that first gate because I'm on the bone chain. Hmm. about that. Uh, yeah, I still need a boar. And it is unfortunately daytime. Spinner. Do 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 do. <clears throat> like Mulgara. You mean Makar? You mean Makar's theme? When he uh, deletes the Mulgara music during a speedrun of HD? <clears throat> it 
It's great. Makar fucking dies. And then Mulgara's theme is deleted from the game. And it just plays Makar's theme on loop. Car ever do simply existed. I'm gonna try this uh, a couple times before I just give up and do the dungeon like normal. Do I have one? I think I only technically need one. But I'm gonna double check by getting a couple extras. Alright, I think two is probably fine. Just in case. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think I need to, but we'll see. Because of how I'm routing this dungeon in go mode, I don't think I need to. Ow. Got wings? Damn. I wish I had wings. But I don't want to pay like forty dollars for an order of wings. <laughs> I don't. These pose don't know what they want in life. I mean, an order of wings from, like, Buffalo Wild Wings or Wingstop hits $40 pretty easy. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I think I only needed one small key for this. I never get wings of dominoes because if I'm getting dominoes I'd rather just get like any of their other sides or pizza I'm never choosing to order dominoes wings the other pasta is good <clears throat> Pasta is part of the six ninety nine uh coupon. Which also helps it. Stuff that I need for Stallard in the end. Yeah, I only need uh, two keys the one for the first door and then the second one up here. I used to get Pizza Hut like a long time ago and it was always like pretty good and then whenever the last time I had it was it was like oh this is like kind of just shit. Look, I killed all the Poes. See? <clears throat> Screw those bubbles.
All right, stellar time. This is this seat is gonna sub three for four dungeons and some pretty like dumb routing. soldier. I mean, technically, Rando makes it impossible to skip Stallard just by the fact that he has a reward. That you only give given to by killing him. <laughs> Although, I guess if your goal... If your goal to get into Hyrule Castle was just beat Palace of Twilight, you wouldn't necessarily need to fight Stallard. <clears throat> you could do Stallard skip in that case. If you had the way the everything you needed to get into the palace without killing him. Got it? Spin, please, Link. No! He's one hit. Because I didn't get spins. Link, you piece of shit. <laughs> Did stabs and slashes when I was spinning my control stick. Quick spins are fucking impossible. <laughs> He's gonna die like instantly. Trying to get that quick hit, like every time that I fight him. And that was technically the first time. He dropped his money, he dropped his wallet. He was possessed by this wallet. Unbelievable.
Oops. <clears throat> I mean, I left it there. Shots, bomb arrows. <clears throat> I guess I don't technically need bomb arrows. I just like that for dark nuts. I also like Hyrule Castle just being like, run to the end. No one wants to do this shit. Or do checks here. Okay. Well. I walked a bit too far, but it didn't matter because rando. He's a Stallard. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> bomb arrows. God damn it, Link. Open the door. <laughs> uh, I only have two hidden skills. Sad. No mortal draw. I can use it on horseback. Fuck that skull.
I just had nowhere to go on that cycle. Like, there was just nothing I could do there. Sub three, four dungeons. I mean, it was a go mode desert, but whatever. <laughs> Way better than the other seed. Way fucking better. Three attacks. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. Ball of lightning. <laughs> okay, nice shot, Link. Went too far to the side. I tried to just do it quick. Not to wait for all this. by Ganon. <laughs> All right, now Zelda, hit your shots. Okay. <laughs> Hey, 
I said hit your shot, Zelda. Zelda. Charge your arrows. Come on, Zelda. Not even over yet. What do you mean? <laughs> what if I what if I lose this fight? What if I what if I pull up the item wheel and you grab this fishing rod? Amazing. The seed wasn't like too bad. <laughs> Linear Spring was funny. The Linear Spring having Spinner and Aru's memo on the double claw shot chests. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, let me look at the spoiler log real quick. How deep was the seed? Well, the seed was called Trivial Epona, so... Gannon does one-fourth a heart, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for the GGs. Oh, this seed was only seven spheres for uh, a four-dungeon seed. And Sphere Zero, Boomerang, Iron Boots, Sword, and Claw Shot, and... <laughs> Ending blow. <laughs> That's a sphere zero set of checks, set of items. Claw shot and boomerang and a sword. And iron boots. Just like, oh, here, do the entire game. Uh, bomb bag and sphere one. Baronfield bridge chest. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Where's the bow? Because I hope. I got Bo and my bomb bag next to each other. Oh, Bo isn't needed, so it's probably not on the sphere log. Good night, Annie. <clears throat> like, Lantern in... Uh, City in the Sky. No, that's Forest Temple. Lantern in Forest Temple that got, like... 
Where was the second claw shot? Second claw shot was underwater Goron. Okay. Uh, underwater Goron. I could have done that a lot earlier. Technically. Although I had to do like lake bed stuff. Oh, if I had done under underwater Goron to get the second claw shot, and then instead of doing, you know, the two dungeons that I did, <laughs> I could have de just been Goma. <laughs> Okay. Also, I didn't need the Dominion Rod. I did goats for nothing. But the ma I got my Master Sword and Ordon Range anyway, so like I was gonna... The goats hint for Dominion Rod actually was what made me go there to begin with. So that... Okay. Okay. Whatever. But I could have been go mode like in Sphere 3 off of the Underwater Goron and actually checking Lanerush... Uh, linear spring or uh memo and spinner interesting anyway that's gonna be it for me it's uh, it's about what i kind of planned on for today time wise hopefully it's cool enough that i can actually like go walk to like a.m. p.m. <laughs> And buy a bag of chips or something. Uh, let me see who I can send you all to. If you watch this on YouTube, uh, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, etc. <clears throat> feel free to let me know what you thought of four dungeons. I feel like it didn't really add anything. But also, this seed was pretty fast, logically. So, I'll probably do like some of these more occasionally. I still think three is probably a better balance, but who knows? 